You guys welcome. Uh, great to get back in a routine. I do believe that uh, our players really enjoy the open date. Uh, we only practice once um, in pads on Wednesday. Uh, we worked a lot on tackling. We worked like a lot on the causing turnovers, a lot on our run game on offense, a lot on our punt return on special teams. We thought that we had an excellent week of practice. Uh, I want to uh, compliment our football team for protecting the team. Uh, obviously, they went home for the weekend. Uh, everybody's back, ready to go. And my phone didn't ring one time. So that means that uh, everybody's in good shape. And that's much appreciated by the head coach, I promise you. Uh, looking forward to Utah State. We'll get back in the routine. Uh, Utah State's offense is a spread offense uh, led by a very, very good quarterback in Jordan Love. One of the top quarterbacks in the country is thrown for over 6,000 yards and 40 TDs in his career to averaging 38 points a game. The thing that makes their offense go is the speed of the offense. Very, very fast. Faster than any team we've seen, including Missouri. So we're going to have to practice that this week. We started on a little bit last week. We're going to get better at it this week. They also do some lookovers, get the line of scrimmage, see what you in, check, and they're very good at it. Uh, we're expecting we're expecting a very very um, tough challenge from Jordan Lovett, Gerald Wright, running back, and Meredith, a wide receiver, number eighty. On defense, their coach is a defensive guy. Their defensive line is really good. They mix out of a four-three and a three-four to six returning starters. They only give it up twenty-one points per game, and the strength of their defense is their defensive line with quarterback pressures and hurriage and movement. On special teams, they're very solid. This is going to be a very good week for us. Uh, can't, wait back, can't, can't wait to get back to practice, get back in the routine. Today will be Tell the Truth Monday. What we'll do is look at the first four games of our season, tell our team what we feel like we're doing well, what we feel like we must and will improve, and then we'll move on from then. Any questions? You experimented with moving Christian over, I guess. How did that, that go this past week? It looked good. I think we're going to continue to look at it this week. Uh, against certain sets, you may see it. Ed, uh, you mentioned how fast they are on offense uh, in past years uh, without maybe the speed that you guys have this year. How, how do you plan for a game where there can be that much speed on both sides? Well, you know, we, we're, going to, uh, we're going to practice just like they run their plays. You know, our offense has a what we call warp speed. So we're going to practice in warp. Our second unit will practice warp speed against our first unit. Uh, we'll put the best players at the best positions that we can to simulate what they have on offense. And I think we'll do a pretty good job of it. Ed, what did you see from uh, Ed Ingram in his first padded practice back? And uh, what do you kind of want to see from him this week? He was very physical. He was in good shape, still has some conditioning, some football conditioning left to do. Uh, I don't know if he's ready to go 60 or 80 plays without a break. I wouldn't say that. Normally he would be. Uh, we're going to see how he does this week, but it was good to have him back. Coach, last week, Jamar Chase said, I didn't realize I was that fast. <laughs> what have you seen from him in terms of just catching the football yeah. and sprinting away from people yeah. this year? Well, you know, Jamar is uh, – is finally in good shape. Uh, his first year, he didn't go through a fourth quarter, and he was just getting in shape. Uh, this year, his individual drills are, are structured as, as he's getting a lot of reps. Uh, he's getting a lot of reps in practice. Uh, he had a great summer. He's big, strong, fast, and physical. So I think what Jamar is seeing is that he's in tip-top condition, and he's able to play at full speed for the whole game. Ed, when, when, you, when you say practice warp speed against the defense, um, is that uh, – and, and what do you tell – do you mean kind of that playing out on, in, a, in a practice? Say it again. When, when you say the offense, you call it working at warp speed against the defense, is that yeah. something new that you all are doing this year or kind of how uh, – You know, we have, a, we have several different speeds that we use on offense, and one of them is as fast as you can, right. and that's called warp. So we're going to – our second team will practice at that speed versus our defense to simulate Utah State speed. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. 
Coach Ozron, right back here. Uh, I know you said the players had the weekend off. I know how long the season is a grind for you and yeah. the coaching staff. Could you give me a little window? Did you have any downtime this weekend? Uh, yeah. Could you tell me anything that you did that was kind of enjoyable that was non-football related for a few days? Yeah, Thursday night, Kelly and I left. I, I kept my company truck at home. I drove her car. Where I, usually I'm only allowed to drive it on Sundays to church. I put some country music on. Put the, I don't know what they call it, a T-top, moon roof, and put it down. And went as fast as I can down the highway to Lake Charles. <laughs> and we had a good win. We went to dinner uh, Thursday night with my family. Friday night, we went to uh, the Cowboys game on Saturday and came back Sunday morning. So I had a great weekend. Thank you. Uh, Ed, down here, sorry. Um, the offense, you know, right now, 27 for 27 in the red zone. The touchdown percentage is way up from last year. What is it about this offensive scheme that makes it so effective when the field gets short like that? You know, we talked about it today. Uh, there's no secret why we're successful in the red zone. First of all, we have great coaching. And uh, those guys prepare night and day for it. And then we practice it the right way. I do believe when you practice something, you coach it well, when you have great players, you're going to have success. Uh, we practice red zone on Mondays. We practice red zone on Thursdays. We practice red zone on Fridays. And we practice red zone on Saturday mornings. And our guys know exactly what to do against the coverage that they're seeing. So I think a combination of having great coaching, great players, and great practice plans, that's what you're seeing. Hey, Coach, right here in the middle. <clears throat> uh, when teams have an open date, a lot of times you hear the term self-study. Yeah, looking at maybe how you've been predictable, how mm -hmm. you could maybe disguise things better. Right. Did some of that go on on both sides, and specifically yeah. with defense and getting pressure yeah. on opposing yes. quarterbacks? No question, it went on. And what we found is, first of all, the way we're running the ball, what we're running, how we want to run it, how we want to practice it. That was the big thing on offense. On defense, it was about tackling and causing turnovers, and more or less not the actual tackle which is important, but the approach. How was our footwork? Where was our weight distributed? Where was our eyes? What was our angles? And we practiced that all week. And we also practiced a lot on punt return, on being able to give our returners some room. Uh, we practiced different stuff on our punt return. So those are the things that we found last week that we could be a lot better at. Ed, uh, fans may not like 11 o'clock starts, but do, do you feel like it? takes away anything from your effort or, or from what your team's advantage, especially when you're going against a team like Utah State that would have never experienced Saturday night in yeah. Tiger Stadium? Well, first of all, I, I do believe that Saturday night in Death Valley is a great experience for both sides. And uh, it's a great advantage for us. And the more we can play Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, the better off we are. But scheduling is out of our control. So we'll never make an excuse for it. I do believe that uh, Derek told me the last of our last six games, three of them start at 11 a.m. This is the third one that starts at 11 a.m. And we've been very successful in those 11 a.m. games. So we're going to continue with our game plan. Uh, do I wish it was at night at Tiger Stadium? Yes, I do. But there's nothing we can do about it. So we're going to make the best of that uh, situation. Ed, what's uh, Caleb Vaughn's status coming off a of bye week, and has he kind of been able to do any contact stuff yet? Yeah, he's still a little gimpy. I mean, he's not uh, he's not a hundred percent back yet. He tried to practice last week. He did a couple of things. He's going to practice he, again today, but he's limited. Uh, we're going to see where we can get with him this week. We definitely need him for the pass rush, and if he's healthy, we're going to play him. But I don't know if he's going to be ready. Uh, Coach, you mentioned uh, Jordan Love a little bit, but just kind of in particular, what are some things that he does really well that could cause problems for you guys on Saturday? Yeah, very smart. Knows where to go with the ball. Uh, he's only gotten sacked three times this year. Um, the quick release, can avoid pressure, uh, is able to run the zone read. Uh, he's definitely a first-round pick, I do believe in, in the NFL. and will play in the NFL for a long time. He is an extremely good quarterback in all areas. Ed, I'm sure over the bye week, uh, you guys evaluate from all parts of the uh, the team, but specific to defense, uh, in what ways did you all talk about improvement from the team and in what ways did Dave Aranda kind of take a, a look at the at the group? 
as far as improving the defense? Improving, yeah. The number one thing is tackling. The missed tackles that we have, uh, that we need to get better at. We have some great athletes. And, again, they're trying. They're trying hard. They're playing hard. Uh, it's more or less their technique, uh, more or less how cap fits. Uh, we're going to do a better job on what we call fit drill today. We're going to take their top five runs and just fit them, and uh, I'm going to be more involved in that today. I think that we looked at the way we're practicing in some areas. You know, I learned from Coach Carroll, if you're not playing well, go back and look at your practice. And uh, obviously you're not practicing as good in some areas as you are the other. And we went back and looked at our practice, so we're going to slow it down, teach more, make sure our guys are in the right position. we got great athletes. When they're, once they're in the right position, we believe they're going to make the right plays. Coach, how's the health of some of your defensive linemen? You're playing a very good team this week, but yeah. you've got to have a long term to get yeah. enough for Florida. Richard Lawrence is going to try some individual today. He's still a little gimpy. So uh, Michael Divinity is going to practice today. He's still a little gimpy. So we're going to have to see as the week goes to see if these guys are going to be ready. No. I think very well. I think the guys have, um, have like I said, in camp was the most improved unit. Uh, now that we got Ed Ingram back, I, I do believe we're going to be better. Uh, there are some things we need to do, uh, uh, run the ball better. We need to finish better. Uh, we have not been challenged in pass protection yet. Uh, we may get challenged this week, but I know for later on we're going to get challenged. So uh, we need to get ready. I had, um, you know, today with California passing legislation for uh, amateurs to make money off of their likeness and amateurs for that. And I know California being a footprint for you guys in recruiting and things like that. How how do you see that influencing? You know, just the state of college football and also from your perspective as a recruiter in, in a state that does not have such a bill. Yeah, you know, um, just got to follow the rules, whatever, whatever they tell us to do. You know, uh, I believe the players should get as much as they possibly can. Am, am I for paying the players? No. But I do, if, if there's a system where we can give these guys what they deserve without getting salaries, uh, maybe cost of attendance like they are today uh, and a little bit more, I'm all for that. But I think it's got to be governor all, all in the right way, but that's, that's not for me to decide. My job is to coach football, and uh, whatever they tell me to do, I'm going to do. All right, guys, have a good day. You guys okay? Y'all been in open day, too. We've got we to get revved up here a little bit. All right, man.